Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentors at IIT Varsity and as part of uh, MapReduce application development using Hadoop APIs, we have seen uh, uh, several things, the default mapper and reducer functionality, few input format and output formats like text input format and text output format in conjunction with default mapper and reducer and we have seen the relationship between uh, the mapper uh, um, and the text input format uh, as well as uh, uh, reducer and text output format and also we have seen a uh, little bit about uh, uh, key and value types so far we, we have encountered several keys or value types like int writable, long writable, text etc um, but so far I have not explained those things and in this video I will try to explain uh, primarily on those uh, classes and if you go back a little bit we can uh, re uh, recap that uh, uh, from when the data is being read from HDFS by the framework, the map function will be invoked for each record. Um, in this case, it will be invoked 52 times. And for each map function, uh, as part of our program, we are actually uh, transforming into key and value tuples, which looks like this. And then we are writing, uh, so whenever the buffer is full, the output will be re written to intermediate files. And while it is being written, it partitions the data and also it sorts the data if there are multiple keys within the same partition. So in this case, the data is being partitioned into two buckets. One is uh, one have only one key and the other one have three keys. And if you see, these three keys are sorted and uh, it is very important to understand that and it has uh, 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 high relevance when we actually try to explain the key value type formats and then the this data is being transformed in, uh, like this into key and array of value tuples and it, this key and array of value tuples will be used to invoke the reduce function as part of the first reduce task as we have only one key reduce function will be invoked only once and using that key we can actually get the count and store it in HDFS. Similarly for the second reduce task as we have three keys the reduce function will be invoked three times and for each key we will get the count and the output is written to HDFS and we have seen this program in detail as part of the last program, yeah, so last video. So uh, before going to the main topic of key and value types, you need to understand that the data is being written, uh, so being read from HDFS in form of key and value, uh, input key and input value for mapper. And then once the processing is done, the data is being written to uh, buffers or intermediate files in the form of uh, output key type and output va uh, value type and then the uh, again the data is being read in reducer as in the form of key and values and uh, also uh, it is uh, written to HDFS by reducer in the form of key and values and for these key and values we have to define classes and typically we want to store uh, uh, data like numbers, uh, strings, uh, and many more and uh, 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 and if you see the scope of these objects is not within the JVM and if you go back to the fundamentals of uh, Java objects the scope of Java object is only within JVM uh, you can only uh, ma maintain a Java object a normal Java object as long as JVM is up and running once the JVM is down the objects will be uh, flushed out of the memory but in this case, uh, the objects have to be retained uh, in intermediate files, they have to be transferred over the network and also they have to be returned to HDFS. So the scope of the data which we are dealing as part of our MapReduce program is not limited to JVM. And that being said, if you have to persist anything outside the scope of JVM, those objects have to be serializable and all the primitive types like uh, string, integer, fl uh, float, double and um, uh, many more uh, primitive data types which we typically use as part of our Java programs are not serializable. We cannot use them as part of the MapReduce programs. For that reason, they have come up with a uh, uh, list of classes 
uh, for our primitives like boolean writable, byte writable, sort writable, int writable, etc., float writable, etc., uh, which are serialized in nature and uh, um, and also lightweight in nature. So first, let me explain the serialized in nature. So uh, whenever you see in these um, writable classes they implement an interface called writable and writable have two methods read fields and write so the re, uh, whenever you uh, implement this interface you have to provide the functionality for read fields and write so that data can be read from uh, hdfs and data can be written to hdfs or to intermediate files and uh, also one more uh, important thing is that as part of as part of reference sort phase, the, uh, the data will be compared based on keys so that data can be sorted within the partition. For example, in this case, in the second partition, uh, club, diamond, and heart are sorted in ascending order. And uh, for that to happen, when whenever a new record comes, it has to compare with the existing one and uh, it has to determine which one is uh, smaller and which one is greater and then only it can sort the data so for that purpose uh, there is a class called java lang dot comparable and uh, um, we can uh, implement that interface sorry java lang dot comparable is an interface and we can implement that interface and it contains a method called compare to and we have to provide the functionality for that so that data can be sorted for that reason, if you see all these uh, types that are the, uh, provided on the top right rectangle are implementing an interface called writable comparable, not writable alone, because all these types are not only used to uh, read from HDFS or write into HDFS, but also um, they have to be compared to sort if, uh, so that we can use these things as key types so all these types which are implementing writable comparable can be uh, used as key types and there are a bunch of other um, uh, classes also as part of MapReduce api and they implement only writable interface and they can be only used for value type not for the key types so if you if you want to both um, uh, store in hdfs uh, or read from hdfs and also use as the keys as part of your uh, map uh, map uh, function or reduce function either for input or output then that has to be a writable comparable class means implementing writable comparable interface and if uh, if you just want to pass uh, a read from hdfs write to hdfs or um, uh, pass between map function to reduce function without comparing then you have to implement the writable interface okay that being said let's go to the grep code and you can see the writable interface it has two methods it's an interface so there is no uh, uh, there is no uh, code in this class it's only empty uh, methods in this interface it's not class actually it's an interface and it has only specification of those two methods right and read fields and similarly there is another uh, interface called writable comparable and this writable comparable is nothing but a child interface for both the writable from org.apache.hadoop.io and the comparable interface from java lang package so if you see the method uh, so this this interface uh, uh, have uh, Will, will inherit these three uh, uh, method specifications compared to read fields and write because it is extending both the interfaces and if you go to comparable interface which is uh, from java lang package it has this compared to method def, uh, declared as part of the interface and if you look at int writable it extends this is one of the uh, uh, key or value type class which is provided by MapReduce API it implements writable comparable interface so it has to provide um, uh, behavior for compare to method read fields and write so read fields and write is to uh, uh, read, free, uh, read from HDFS and write to HDFS whereas compare to is primarily for 
to compare uh, uh, between uh, the new value and the existing value uh, to sort the data uh, while uh, the data is being flushed from memory uh, memory buffer into the intermediate files as shown in this picture. So that being said, this is the introduction about key value type formats. Most of them are self-explanatory. If you are from Java background, you might have seen classes like byte, short, int, float, long, double, etc. And uh, um, MapReduce API uh, provides counterparts uh, for this uh, all uh, all those primitive types, and these are serialized in nature. Uh, and the serialization comes into picture because of the implementing of writable interface, and uh, also uh, they are lightweight. So, for example, if you see the intraitable class on top of uh, uh, compare to uh, compare to read fields and write. There are very few methods like get, hash code, equals, etc. But if you look at integer class of Java Lang, it will have much uh, much more methods than this. So, for example, if you look at Java dot Lang dot integer, hit enter. So you can see these many methods, whereas our intraite will have only handful of them. So it is not only serialized, but also in lightweight, and it is only used at the time of reading the data from HDFS or writing data to HDFS. If you want to manipulate or if you want to apply additional functions, then you have to typecast to the primitive data types, and uh, then only we'll be able to do that. Uh, example for that is. Text is the MapReduce API for to store the uh, string uh, uh, alphanumeric data, and it is a writable comparable class. Um, but uh, we want to split that uh, each record um, uh, by pipe, and we want to get the second uh, uh, va second value in each of the record uh, to get the card count by suite. And we cannot directly apply on the text object because text object is very lightweight. org.apache.hadoop.io.text and it has only few methods if you look at the string class it will it will have much more than this okay and uh, uh, here Here, uh, there is no split method on text, whereas the string have the split method where it will split by delimiter and uh, uh, generate an array. And as we don't have on uh, text directly, we are actually converting the record which is of text type to a string type here. And then we are applying the split function which is part of the string class. And we are getting the first uh, um, uh, record, I mean second field uh, because it starts with zero, so we are trying to get the second field uh, to get the suite of uh, a suite from each of the record. So that's how we have to convert uh, uh, two primitive types if you want to apply additional functionality uh, as part of our processing in Mapper and Reducer. But when we are trying to write back it to HDFS, again we are we have to create a text object. Otherwise, we cannot write to HDFS or write to intermediate files as part of map output. So that being said, uh, in short, um, we have uh, several uh, uh, classes as part of MapReduce API uh, to store uh, um, data such as integers, uh, strings, float, double, etc., which are primitive types uh, in HDFS or uh, to pass over the network between mapper and reducer as input output keys or values and uh, all these classes are serialized and also lightweight and they implement interface called writable comparable and in some cases we just need to pass certain objects 
uh, from uh, uh, yeah the input and output key uh, yeah the input and the output but we we don't need to use as keys as part of our program and then those type of classes can be uh, implementing just writable interface which means we need to provide behavior for read fields and write that being said not everything can can fit into these types you have to write custom key and value type uh, types and at that time you need to understand if you have to write a custom key type you have to implement writable comparable and provide functionality for read fields method write method as well as compare to method if you want to just define a value type or uh, write a custom value type you just have to implement writable interface and provide functionality for read fields and write and that being said so far we have seen uh, so many fundamentals um, uh, 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 the default mappers default default mapper default reducer predefined uh, mappers and uh, reducers like long sum reducer we have also used that as part of our both the programs record count as well as card count by suite and uh, then we have seen a few input types like text input input format which uh, which actually uh, extends file input format which in turn implements input format and also we have seen text output format which uh, extends file output format which in turn implements output format interface so we have seen so many things which are fundamental uh, to map reduce and as we proceed forward we will dig into dig deeper and we will try to implement far more complex uh, functionality using map reduce api and also we have we will start seeing a, a little bit more complicated uh, concepts uh, uh, which will facilitate us to join the data sets to sort the data and uh, many many more that being said if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so if you have any questions related to a particular video please uh, feel free to comment on my uh, comment section of the video if you like a particular video please click on the like button thank you bye